Trump's charisma, message, and superlative-laden stump speech draw hundreds, sometimes thousands of people to his campaign rallies. Many here in New Hampshire vowed to vote for him on Tuesday. Others in this crowd are here for the show. We found a group from Denmark. We are really fascinated that it's possible for somebody to, to rise to these levels with the things he said about, you know, women and foreigners and so on. That would never happen in, in our country. Erkin Osden is a Danish TV anchor. He was here on assignment in 2012. I was covering it as a U.S. correspondent. So I was, you know, I had to run around. I had deadlines just like you. This time around, I'm just having a good time going to Five Guys and having a burger and, you know, coming to rallies. It's great. You have Sweden and Norway and Denmark. And the Donald China, even mentioned Denmark as he rattled off countries where education is better than it is in the U.S. David Trotz is a political commentator from Denmark. Should Trump win the nomination or the presidency, how does that change European views of our country? Well, to be quite honest with you, I could not think of a worse thing to happen than if Donald Trump were actually to become president. It would be awful for the United States. It would be awful for the world. It would be awful for Europe as well, because he is, in my mind, a crazy guy. Trod says he calls Trump crazy because he says the brash billionaire says things that are out of line and still manages to stay on top. I think it's possible because of the huge inequality that is happening or taking place in this country. Because of that center, the center doesn't hold anymore. That means that, that the energy goes out to the fringes and that means that suddenly someone like Donald Trump can pop up. Is politics like that in Denmark? No, it's much more boring. So it's much more, <laughs> so it's much more fun to be here. And you know, Bernie Sanders once said that uh, the U.S. should be more like Denmark. We asked our new Danish friends about that. They said, sure, you can replicate the Danish government services here in the U.S. The only problem is to pay for it all, you'd probably have to double the amount of taxes that we Americans pay. That's the latest live here in Manchester, New Hampshire. Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.